All right, so the first thing I want to do with this lecture is revisit what we talked about last time uh, with spectra for XPS and AES. And in this case, we're going to do some identification of uh, more than one element in a spectrum. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so this will be a problem on your quiz. So I've put two spectrums down here, one for XPS, one for AES. Um, and again, like I said, this, these are not pure materials. These are mixed, so they're going to have um, multiple elements uh, in a given spectrum. So taking a look at each one, I want you to identify all of them if you can, or as many as you can, um, elements from each of these spectrums. And again, you're going to use those uh, tables and figures that I put uh, in the mis miscellaneous file on Canvas uh, for surface characterization. So there'll be a table for XPS data, and there'll be a, a figure for AES data. And so using those numbers, see if you can match up what all of these peaks correspond to. So do that, pause this video, and come back and we'll discuss. All right. So let's take a look um, at the results here. So I went ahead and just put up what um, these two uh, have in them. So the first thing is to recognize that the one on the left here, it says binding energy, and we also see peaks. And so this tells us this is XPS. On the right, you see kinetic energy, and then you see those kind of differential peaks. And so that tells you that we're looking at AES. All right. so. Again, this is just a matter of going through and looking at all the peak positions and finding out what we have. Keeping in mind that if you have something like silicon and you locate the 2P, then you also could expect to see the 2S if it's within the range of binding energies. So you see two silicon peaks there. We have a carbon one. Um, we have oxygen, fluorine, uh, which is an OJ but we have the um, fluorine 1s as well. So you didn't have to, uh, to identify this uh, in this case. All right, so the other one here, same thing. Uh, if you look through the, 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 the figure, you'll see that gold has multiple peaks here, and this is close to 2,000. And then you see a series of peaks for nickel, uh, only one for uh, oxygen. And so again, you're looking to kind of correspond those different transitions, and so you, for us, we have to look at the rough numbers and see what matches. Um, so again, looking at those tables. Um, and again, you can go back to a previous example you want if you're still having some confusion with this. 